preaching to serve men or God. If we really care for our families and brethren the actions of Paul will be true of us. Furthermore, Paul also said, Preach the word, be urgent in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long-suffering and teaching, 2 Timothy 4 verse 2. You will notice that good gospel preaching demands positive and negative proclamation of truth. But as already mentioned, some will not endure the sound doctrine, but, having itching ears, will heap to themselves teachers after their own lusts, and will turn away their ears from the truth, and turn aside unto fables, 2 Timothy 4 verses 3-4. but we must not allow this attitude to influence us away from preaching the whole counsel of God. Look around and you'll see the undeniable signs of the times. The Supreme Court that opened the door to murdering more than 55 million babies has also failed to defend traditional marriage. The prince of the power of the air is propagating all manner of immorality over mass media and all sorts of heresy is circulating in the body of Christ. Just as Tootsie Rolls taste sweet to the lips, these gospel messages are sweet to the ears. They cause the hearers to feel good and want more, but never challenge them or cause them to grow. Too often, your candy messages have become the main course of our spiritual diets rather than strong meat that strengthens our souls. The Lord declared, For it is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Jehovah, that say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits Isaiah 30 verses 9 to 10. Many preach to please men and tickle their ears with what they like to hear. Paul said, For do I now persuade men, or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ, Galatians 1 verse 10. Paul warned Timothy about people who have itching ears and warned that such people will gather around those who will scratch their ears by teaching lies, 2 Timothy 4 verses 3-4. The whole counsel of God must be preached, regardless of how it is received, Acts 20 verses 26 to 27. The truth is truth and must be preached. I didn't write the book, Bible, and have no right to water it down to please men. Apostle Paul declared, I shrank not from declaring unto you anything that was profitable, and teaching you publicly, and from house to house, wherefore I testify unto you this day, that I am pure from the blood of all men. For I shrank not from declaring unto you the whole counsel of God, Acts 20 20, 26 to 27. We all know the dangers of a physical diet containing too many sweets, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, hyperactivity, anxiety, and depression. We should equally recognize the debilitating dangers of having our spiritual stomachs filled with junk food jargon. Nevertheless, the enemy of our souls has entered into the pulpits of America in our day and is serving up a diet void of any nutritional value, and we are consuming it. The devastating results of slipping away from proclaiming fundamental, Doctrinal truths are already evident in our society. It is essential that we teach the whole counsel of God. We must all feel the responsibility. We must carry the burden. We must share in the load if we are to successfully carry out our part of the Great Commission. Question? 
Has your pastor confronted the several same-sex couples about their eternal destination if they continue in their sin? Of course not. I have heard it said in Christian circles about this sin in the church and many ascribe that they will get it right someday. Eventually they will see the truth. Well, the days are short and the time to share the truth is even shorter. And they still don't and won't quit their lifestyle because no one is saying anything. I mean after all, they go to church, right? By the way, pagan celebrations are not for Christians even if we have been doing them for 100s of years now. You see, the truth will set you free if you follow Jesus. But if you do not do what Jesus would do, you are on your own. Plain and simple.